Here are the genetic problem rules we have been using all along. Please keep in mind, you must always have a key for the letters, show the genotypes of the parents, show your work in a Punnett square, answer what the question is asking, and circle the answers to the questions. Multiple alleles involve a single trait that is controlled by three alleles. For our purposes, we will be using blood typing, which is the most common example. In blood typing, there is a mix of complete and incomplete dominance. With the blood types, we will be looking at blood types A, B, AB, and O. These four phenotypes are all determined by three alleles. Those alleles are A, B, and O. Notice they are all capital letters. When you think about a red blood cell, as you see on the figure below here, you'll see there are various proteins on that red blood cell that identify that blood cell as type A, type B, type AB, or type O. A blood has A proteins. B blood has B proteins. AB blood has A and B proteins. Type O blood, you'll notice, does not have any proteins. There is a possibility of six genotypes. For example, type A blood can be homozygous AA or AO, and the reason is A is dominant to O. Type B blood can be homozygous B or BO because again, type B blood is dominant to O. Type AB blood, you'll notice, has the genotype AB because this is where we see incomplete dominance. Type OO, excuse me, type O blood has the genotype OO, homozygous recessive. Again, the phenotypes are type A, type B, type AB, and type O blood types. What are the possible blood types in the children with parents having type A and type B blood? If we do not give you any other information, when we say type A, you can assume it is AO, and type B is BO. So if we do this cross of AO and BO, you'll notice we want to remember to write our dominant alleles first, which means I need to put the letter B first. Again, the question asks what are the possible blood types. With these two parents, we can have type AB blood, type B blood, type A blood, and type O blood. Again, these are the phenotypes. The genotypes, the alleles, are listed in the Punnett square. Show how a father with blood type AB could have one daughter with blood type A Okay, I'm sorry for that interruption. Show how a father with blood type AB could have one daughter with blood type A and another with blood type B. Keep in mind, we've told you that if you have no other information, blood type A and blood type B will end up having an O after them. But let's pretend we didn't know that. We have a father with blood type AB. The two blanks will represent mom. Remember, we said blood type A and blood type B, which means, as we've said before, there must be an O here and here, here and here, telling us 
mom is blood type O and that her genotype is homozygous recessive OO. The genotypes of the two daughters, the type A daughter is AO and the type B daughter is BO. Circle our answers.